forces are applied to ends of the rod so that its length increases. You're basically stretching a rod. Nice, simple rod like this. And then you've got extension E. So variation with the force is shown with the extension. Something's funny about this graph. Usually, uh, we plot force against extension or x, f against x, but they switch the axis. So you got to be careful now. The point P is elastic limit. Which shaded area represents the work done during, very specific, plastic deformation of the rod? Because there's many sections where you could have work done. First thing to point out when you look at all these choices is that why the area sometimes is down here, sometimes it's like this. Because work done is known as area under the graph or more better way to talk about it is the area between the curve and the extension axis. Ah, so normally if your graph is like this, you want to find work done? It's like this. Oh? But in our case, since we have rotated, it's going to be on this side already, whatever area you want to find. So you need to know this fact. Okay, number two, we want to find during plastic deformation only. The important hint is that point P, which is the elastic limit. Elastic limit. Oh, we can draw it here also. Uh, not very well drawn, but okay, never mind. Roughly, roughly there. Here, 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 here. So this elastic limit beyond there is going to be plastic deformation. So we draw a cutoff point here and we say, okay, we're looking at this area. I guess we could also change it up and draw the correct area. Okay, beyond there is a permanent plastic deformation. So that's our area. So we just go and scroll down and shop and see what which one suits best. So this one, wrong area. This one also wrong area. Straight away, you can throw away. C would be the best choice because it is on under the correct area of the graph with respect to extension. And it is only looking at the plastic deformation part of it. Okay, so that's all for this video. See you in the next one.